Hi there guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install MySQL on a Windows Server OS. Ok then, so in the previous video I've shown you how to set up a PHP website in Windows Server. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up MySQL uh, to go with that PHP website so that you can run forum software, Joomla, WordPress and that sort of thing. So what you first need to do is you need to head over to the MySQL website. What MySQL is is basically a database application. Uh, it's free, it's like Microsoft SQL Server, uh, only free. So if you head over to mysql.com click on the download tab at the top and click on the download button for the MySQL installer for Windows and scroll down and we can see that uh, for the platform Microsoft Windows uh, the Windows package MSI installer is 172 meg so it's quite big now if I click on download and click on at the bottom, no thanks, just stop my download and save that file uh, anywhere, to your desktop, whatever. So once that file's downloaded, you'll notice it on the desktop or wherever you saved it. If we double click on that. Okay then, so once you've downloaded the MySQL installer, double click on it, run it and let it configure the MySQL installer and if you've ever uh, used Microsoft SQL Server before you'll notice that this screen almost resembles Microsoft SQL Server so if you click on install products I accept the license terms uh, you can check to see whether there's a new version available but we'll skip that for now and here what you can do is you can set up the different types of install so if you're running a developer machine select that the server only select that client full and custom now what I'm going to do for this um, experiment is I'm going to do the full install so as you can see we've got Microsoft.NET Framework 4 installed but we do need to install the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 so if we execute that and what it'll do is it is it will install it for us it only takes a few seconds. And if we accept the terms, install it, and we'll finish. And it says uh, that they've all been met, and click on next. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to install the server, the workbench, and the different connectors with the documentation. So, once it's installed, we can click on next. And what it's now going to do is it's going to configure the server. So this is a server machine. If you're a developer machine, it will use a minimal amount of memory. Server, medium amount of memory, and dedicated, it'll use all available memory. So recommended is obviously a server machine. So if we install that, you need to leave these ticked. So it's going to run on port 3306, which is the default port for MySQL. And you need to enter a root password here and then click on next and it will configure the product click on next and then we can uh, either start the MySQL workbench click on finish and here we are in the MySQL workbench so thanks for watching this video on how to configure MySQL on a Windows Server 2008 R2 OS Please check out my next video and like, rate, comment and subscribe and check out the link below which is www.benstechtips.co.uk for help and support.